Welcome to your reading, Taurus. Hey, this is Renee. Welcome back. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the next 48 hours in love. Um, well, actually, this is a general reading, so we're going to cover love and everything else. Okay, so whatever comes out. Okay, first of all, we're going to take a look at the Romance Tarot and uh, see what comes out. Now, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements, okay? And stay tuned to the end when I will pull an angel number for you. Okay, so let's see what we have for Taurus. General reading. Okay, review and contemplation. You've accomplished a great deal in life and now you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next. As you contemplate the past and the present, you'll get a clear you'll get clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you, okay? And we have letting go. Releasing the past can seem like a challenge but it can also be uh, liberating your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before endings always herald new beginnings choose to allow the situation to lead you to a more joyful life change your life by changing your thoughts okay so i feel like spirit is letting you know that you know both of these cards have to deal with you know your thoughts okay your thoughts your emotions letting something go and releasing something okay so i feel like number 20 and number 13 are very important to you actually this is like the the judgment card and the death card so there's something ending and some kind of new beginning both of these are a reflection of looking within to find something greater outside of yourself okay so I, I feel like you know there's there's a need for you to look within in order for something great to come through okay so that's very interesting here uh, let's go ahead and take a look at at love let's take a look at love What's coming in for love for Taurus? What's coming in for the, for Taurus the next 48 hours? It's very interesting because there's something that needs to be released. And I feel like you know what that what needs to be released out of your life in order to herald in that something new. Okay? Uh, we have the clock needing time. Going through cycles. Time to heal progress. Okay, so you might be healing at this moment. You might need time after some kind of breakup, after some kind of ending that's happening. Um, I feel like there's some kind of separation. You may have just went through an ending of a relationship or um, something had happened between you and your person and you're not talking at the moment and you feel like there's not a chance for a second chance. Okay, you feel like it's done, it's over with, it's gone. You know, we have the Grim Reaper and we also have the, the number 13, the death card here. Okay, so I, I feel like there's something that's definitely done and over with. There's something that you don't have time to handle. You're just not putting your energy in the situation any longer and you're ready to move on. So let's get some energy. What does this person want to say to Taurus? What does this person want to say? I bury myself in work to forget you. This person misses you. I'm not available. I feel like that's what you're telling this person. I'm not available. I'm not, I'm not even giving you my time anymore. And I will wait for a sign from you. I, f I feel like they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to kind of change your mind. They're waiting for you to give them another chance. Where 
you know, I, I feel like they're they're just like in limbo at the moment. They're not doing anything but thinking about you, thinking, you know, what can they do for you to give them another chance? Look at this. Yeah, I want you. They want you back. Just being near you is intoxicating. They want you back. They they've seen they've seen the error in their ways and they they feel like okay I messed up I I just don't want to be without you I can't now that we're not together I can't stop thinking about you I don't want to do this alone you know and I feel like that's how they're feeling right now I feel like they feel like they're alone like they're waiting for you to give them a single a signal that you kind of feel alone too and you feel kind of left out because they're not with you okay i feel like you know the person that you left behind they're like contemplating and kind of reviewing the situation because they know they messed up taurus they know they messed up big time but i feel like they're trying to find ways to figure out how to get through it okay let's take a look at the tarot what does tarot have to say about this person give me a sign what does tarot have to say about this person tell me more yeah i feel like you have your guards up you have your guards up big time you're not letting this person back in you you've had it you have ended this cycle you're moving on to a new cycle you're like i'm done i'm done look at this the ace of wands excuse me the the knight of wands in reverse you're not taking any more action towards this person you're not moving forward with them you're like i've had enough i've had enough you're still you're still in need of healing you're still in need of finding your balance finding your you know, finding yourself. I feel like you're just totally looking at yourself and your needs right now. You're totally trying to focus on yourself. Because you feel like this person was so negative. This person was just holding you back. They were blocking you. Now I feel like, okay, you know, you, you gave me all this negative energy now i'm gonna block you i'm gonna make you feel exactly what i felt and i'm gonna put you through the same thing that you put me through so i feel like it's kind of a reversal i feel like you're you're flipping you're flipping the script on them okay i feel like you are um transcending your emotions transcending your feelings onto them to where that they need to feel what you feel you know i feel like you may be blocking your communication with this person you may be blocking them uh totally but i feel like you're you're no longer taking action with this person you've had enough you're not moving in their direction you're moving towards you your direction you're you're putting more energy into you and into your need of healing okay you you're, you're more focused on yourself. You've ended this cycle and now you're moving on to something bigger and better. Okay. Wow. I get it, Taurus. I really do. I get it. It's time to focus on yourself and you've, you've like had enough. Okay. Let, let's get some more messages for Taurus. Let's get another message for Taurus, please. Okay. Yeah, look at this. You're focused on yourself. You're making yourself a priority. You're, you're getting out there and you're weighing your options. You're seeing what the world has in store for Taurus. You're not sitting back and waiting for this person. You know? Now, this is a handmade deck, but we're going to get some messages for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know right now? For this situation what is going on okay let's see 
we have the outcome is going to be positive. So I feel like you've made the right choice. I'm happiest with you. And that I feel like that's what they're trying to tell you. I'm happiest with you, but I don't feel like you were happy in the situation. Okay? And Spirit wants you to know to step into a higher vibration and good things are happening. Okay? So focus on yourself. Focus on your healing. Focus on raising your vibration to make your situation better. And I feel like good things are coming your way, Taurus. Okay? Because we have, look, protect your energy. Be careful. Okay? We have new beginnings. I feel like, you know, you're ending this cycle and you're moving into this new direction. Wow. I get it. Time to laugh more. Get out and enjoy life. Be sure to soak so so <laughs> be sure to socialize, Taurus. Okay. This person wants to tell you, please forgive me. You know, I can't do this. Please forgive me. But I feel like spirit is letting you know, let it go. They feel so alone, you know. But it's time to focus on you and your needs. Okay, okay. So I feel like Spirit is making it clear to you that, you know, this is what you need to focus on. You need to focus on you and your needs, Taurus. You know, don't let no one else tell you different. Let's get some more messages for Taurus. What else can Taurus expect in the next 48 hours? What else can Taurus expect in the next 48 hours, please? forgiveness they definitely want your forgiveness they want you to see them in a different light but i feel like you're letting this energy go you're not standing you're not standing for that you're not you don't have time for it you're not even working with it i feel like in the next 48 hours i feel like people are going to be around you to help you through your situation you're going to have some kind of people who are very generous and very helpful for you maybe someone is around you to give you good advice someone is around you to help you to pamper yourself to put yourself first okay and we have communicate clearly so i feel like you know there's a need for you to communicate your needs Really speak clearly and speak your truth. Your truth is going to come out whether you know it or not. Because it's either going to come out in a negative way or a positive way. So let your voice be positive so that positive things will flow through you and to you more naturally. Okay? So I feel like Spirit is letting you know to look for a sign because I feel like a sign is coming to you. There's going to be some sort of sign, some sort of vision that you're going to see that is going to let you know that, yeah, the time is right. It's time to focus on myself and put all of my energy into making my world better, into making my situation better. Okay? So and I feel like Spirit is letting you know there's a clear decision to be made. And I feel like you are making that decision. Okay. So let's see. Where to next? Okay. We're going to go ahead and get an angel card. And then we're going to take an angel number. Okay. What do we have for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Spirit, give me a message for Taurus. Okay, we have Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path and take one step at a time to happiness. Okay, so this is your journey, Taurus, and I feel like your journey is leading you into your happiness. But I feel like it's, it's telling you to take one step at a time, to focus on your needs and, you know, then take a call to action, take charge, lead by example, walk your talk, speak your truth, okay? Because I feel like that is what's going to give you power 
is by speaking your truth, having that ability. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll get a, another card for Taurus. What else can Taurus expect this next 48 hours? Okay, laying down your burdens. You're focusing on you. You see how, okay, this is the after tarot. You know, on the other tarot cards, on the Ten of Wands, he's carrying a heavy load. He's carrying much more than he can handle. In this Ten of Wands, he's let down all those wands. He only has this one in his hand. This is the one that is truly most important to him. So he's decided that this is what he's going to focus on. He's going to focus on what is most important and what is going to bring his greatest good. Okay? So I feel like that's what Spirit wants to tell you. To focus on what is important to you. Don't worry about what is important to the world or what is important to someone else. Worry about what is important to Taurus. What is going to increase to Taurus's highest good? You know, what can you do for yourself to increase you into a more positive vibration? Okay, now let's go ahead and get an angel number for Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know, please? What else does Taurus need to know? An angel number. Okay, see, I knew it. Alignment. Your progress is recognized and alignment is here. It is within your reach. The whisper is reminding you to stay the course and feel source working through you. Your gifts are being recognized. Okay, your affirmation, I blossom and bloom as I use my gifts. All things simply as align as I feel the feeling of the divine. So I feel like with this card, I feel like you have some kind of divine protection surrounding you that's helping you with your balance. Okay, and I know you hear my cat back there yelling at my door, but yeah, he, he can go ahead and wait a moment. He's okay. He just wants to go outside. Okay, Taurus, this is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Um, also, if it doesn't resonate, you may want to take a look at your other placements. They may resonate more for you at this moment. Okay, so until your next reading, Taurus, many blessings to you. Love and light.